Hi, I'm Jamie and I'm a processed food addict in recovery. Glad you're here. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to take a video tonight because I'm at the grocery store and there's been a lot of questions about my self-talk and how I kind of navigate situations in life as a food addict in recovery. And one of the biggest places that I get cued and triggered and just about everyone I know who's in recovery from food addiction gets triggered is a grocery store. So I wanted to talk a little bit about my self-talk in the grocery store. So grocery stores are full of visual cues and, and certainly cues that we know we're smelling and that we're, you know, sort of the texture cues of different things that we might touch. Um, and so they're very, very triggering environments. And so if I have to go into them, which I do now, but there was a period of my recovery, I did not. There was a period of my recovery that I chose to have groceries delivered to me. And that was, that kept me safe from the cues and triggers and from buying things that I didn't need to buy. But since the pandemic and after, I do go to the grocery store now because I like to be very specific about what I pick out. So I bring my self-talk game when I walk in these, these sliding doors every week. And my self-talk game is really all about asking myself how I feel when I, when I eat some of the things that, I, that I'm cued by. So I'll give you an example. I was walking by an end cap in the laundry section <laughs> of all places. And there was this end cap filled with like these lemon cookies. And lemon cookies have a um, nostalgic um, appeal to me just because they remind me of, of childhood and, and recipes from childhood. And I remember thinking when I saw them, I thought, oh, you know what? They probably taste like this or that. And I imagined them for a second and it was nostalgic. And then I thought, you know what? I stopped myself and I said, if I eat these lemon cookies now, I'm going to feel like junk tomorrow and I'm going to feel depressed for two days and I'm going to be irritable for three days and I'm going to be kicking myself. And I, and, and I, you know, I it certainly, it's not going to necessarily affect me on the scale tomorrow or the next day, but it's going to make me want to crave lemon cookies for who knows how long. And it's just not worth it. So that's the kind of self-talk I ask myself, how do I want to feel after the food that I eat? If the food that I eat doesn't make me feel amazing and doesn't give me the freedom, the freedom to move on after I eat it and not think twice about it, then it's the wrong food for me. And lemon cookies are definitely the wrong food for me. And it's not about weight. And it's not about, oh, will my clothes fit tomorrow or next week or next year. It's about how do I want to feel today, t tomorrow, even five minutes after I eat, how do I want to feel? And if the answer to that question is anything but energized and vibrant and, and clear-minded and health-focused and, and aware and present in my body, if the answer is anything else but those, it doesn't go in my cart. And so the self-talk game, it's real. And it happens for me every time I walk into a grocery store, every time I walk out in the world where there's food cues, which let's be honest, is everywhere in the world. Um, I ask myself, okay, if I eat that food, if I stop focusing on what the food will taste like or what the food maybe will do for me in the, in the eating process, if I stop focusing on that and start focusing on how I'm gonna feel after it, that is, that's gold that keeps me away from it. So I'm proud to say tonight, just like every other time I go to the grocery store, my cart is clean and I am pleased with that process, pleased with the, the, the knowledge that I have, that my self-talk works every week, no matter what, no matter how stressed out I am, no matter how over -cued I am, my self-talk process works. So I'm curious to know what your self-talk process is in the grocery store. What, is the, what goes through your head? Share it with me in the chat and we can have a conversation. Once again, I'm Jamie and I'm a processed food addict in recovery and I'm really grateful you're here. I look, to, look forward to seeing you soon.